It's the time of year when people have trees in their homes. But I'm asking you, do you have a real tree that's been harvested or do you have a plastic one? This is something scientists have been considering. Some scientists from Dalhousie University's Christmas Tree Research Center, which is a thing, uh, announced that they have created a more perfect Christmas tree. Because of trends in recent years, many Americans have been preferring plastic trees. Those who uh, have a tree in the house for mm -hmm. celebrating Christmas or what have you, or secular Christmas. I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to talk about the tree in your house, this weird German tradition that you've held over. Um, well, I, I don't know about you, but I'll speak for myself that whenever sure. uh, the holidays come around, that's one of my favorite things is not just the, the tree, because the tree, I'm like, ah, give or take a tree. I love the smell of pine, and the smell of pine always reminds me of the holidays and of Christmas and, uh, and all that good stuff. So uh, if I can't get a tree, I'll just buy a bunch of pine scented candles and Febreze. I have just boughs of, um, like a fir tree, mm. just, just to have the smell, because that's what I love most too. But what yeah. they found, um, according to this, is most Americans have switched from real trees to plastic trees mm -hmm. because of the messiness. For me, it's the cost, uh, but sure. So scientists <laughs> have decided to engineer a tree that is less messy. They've created, well, they've bio-created a tree that can um, retain their needles for up to three months after harvest, so if you are one of those people who gets a tree right before, or if it's three months, you're getting it Halloween at this point. Yeah, I think uh, most people, <laughs> if, if anyone gets it early, I think most people probably get it around like Thanksgiving, yeah. I would say, because then that's like, all right, we've had our pie, now let's get a tree, you know? It's going that's to the one most logical timeline. So we have me. smart cars, now we have smart trees. They are literally calling it the smart tree, that's and that is an acronym for Senescence Modulated Abscission Regulated Technology. Say it's that 10 times fast. <laughs> it's in reference to this specialized gene pool for the tree. So That's they amazing. have done uh, kind of, it's well, grafting is an old form of manipulating mm -hmm. plants. Uh, this is a more technologically advanced version of grafting in which they will take specific genes uh, that are preferable from tree parents and create a new one. That's incredible. Science, you guys. Science, do. Well, there's what? a lot to do with this. It's amazing. I mean, it's it's not this uh, application of of technology. It actually is under investigation right now at the Molecular Tree Breeding Lab at North Carolina State University, hmm. uh, where they view this as a pathway for large scale clonal propagation and genetic engineering in the future. See these words. You can read you that as you will. Well, you know, cloning. Um, <laughs> So they're understanding the fir tree's genome, genome, and with that, they're able to understand things like preventing root rot and perhaps helping trees uh, withstand global warming. Trees That's what that I'm, aren't necessarily, you know, Douglas firs or whatever kind we're cutting down for. That's what I'm most excited about. That's because That's a more interesting yeah, application. Because I mean, yes, okay, you get your Christmas tree; it's going to last longer. The needles won't fall. That's fantastic. Let's talk about more about. Uh, you know, let's, what about the other trees that aren't going to do so good when, well, because, when, the, when you know, the heat? Yeah, we we hits. need the needle retention, and mm -hmm. this could certainly help trees survive. I mean, keep in mind, it takes a while for a tree to mature and grow, uh, but this could be a helpful way to combat uh, man-made climate change in the future, at the very least. Mm -hmm. So there seem to be a few issues between uh, the ethics of of cloning and genetic engineering, but this may be a way to not only spread Christmas joy, but save the trees. Audience, would you buy one of these smart trees? I am not doing the acronym again. Please let us know on <laughs> Facebook and Twitter. Are you struggling with what to get your friends and enemies this holiday season? Look no further because TYT for the first time is offering three month holiday memberships for only $25. You would get access to all of TYT clips, episodes, podcasts, downloads, extras. For this offer, please go to tytnetwork.com gift and keep the lights on. I'm scared of the dark.